whipping up your morning smoothie right now and you're adding a spoon of your favorite protein powder, here is something to think about. A Denver nonprofit tested dozens of the most popular protein powders and shakes, and it found some potentially dangerous contaminants. Nicole Brady is here with some key findings. Yeah, the Clean Label Project, Molly, is a Denver-based nonprofit that looks for environmental contaminants and toxins in foods, especially things that can cause latent health effects. We're talking things that may not show up for decades. They tested some of the most popular protein powder brands sold in stores and at Amazon. These are all products I easily found on the shelves at places like Sprouts and Vitamin Cottage. They found that a number of very popular protein powders had high levels of arsenic, lead, mercury, and BPA. Uh, remember BPA? That's the stuff that was used in the lining of packaging that most companies got rid of several years ago. Uh, some other key findings from the study, the, the plant-based protein powders were the most contaminated as opposed to the whey-based protein powders. And products that were chocolate had higher levels of heavy metals than the vanilla-based products. That might be because of the cacao plant. Now, some of the brands sent us statements. These were the brands that had the lower performing powders. Some of them questioned the data and the methodology of the Clean Label Project study. And most of them point out that heavy metals do occur naturally in the environment. But it is important to note that the World Health Organization says there is no safe level of lead to consume. The Clean Label Project says their goal is not to discourage people from consuming protein powders. But if you are concerned about this, coming up at 530, we talk to a Boulder sports medicine doctor about why to use a protein powder at all. Mitch.